think, <laughs> I think, Kevin, that if we were a little more disciplined, we could yeah. uh, make the editing less uh, time-consuming and onerous. Yes, I know. Well, I'd like it. I, I, I think you're right. So, we also probably should avoid using the term "money shot" since it's associated with pornography. Did we say that? I don't yeah, remember I th- saying it. Well, I thought it fit in great. No, it, it, I don't think oh. it was part that we're going to use. Uh, okay. You guys talked okay, about well, the, I don't even know what it was, what the money shot was, drinking the coffee Did we talk something? about money shot, Dennis? Don't worry about it. Did I? Well, I didn't know. I didn't know. I, I, I just was curious about yeah, it. Okay. Boy, I'm, I'm full of problems, aren't I? What a... No, I, 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 I don't mind. I, 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 that's okay. I don't <laughs> mind problems. Uh, if I didn't like problems, I would have picked a different uh, profession. Um, <laughs> we're, we're, we're fine here. I did say money shot. The money shot for us, it's when a camera person gets the right shot. I call it the money shot. I, it oh, might be used okay. in pornography too, but it's typically well, used in the rest of the industry. That's fine. I didn't know yeah. that. I just associated yeah. with the... Porn, porn industry. <laughs> no, that's, no, that's, we don't have that. <laughs>
Now, the only thing that we have to do, though, left is we got to put things in order of what our favorites were. Kevin, I'm tasting uh, through all five again. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Even cold, these coffees are really good. And my favorite is number three, which is the um, unusual washed processed coffee from uh, Bird Rock. Uh, that's my number one. It has a lot going on. It's um, exotic in a certain level. I mean, in the sense that it's not typical or ordinary or classic even. It has a little distinctive uh, qualities in terms of both flavor and structure. And uh, so I would put that as my number one. I would, I guess I'd tie for number two between the, depending on the coffee drinker, somebody who wants to really be surprised and uh, excited by a coffee would like the number four, which is a Bird Rock um, hybrid natural, so-called. Mm -hmm. But it, it has a kind of a whiny uh, insistence, not whiny like a child whines, but whiny like wine, that w may bother some people. And those people might prefer, as their number two, the uh, big shoulders drip blend or standard blend. It's called reliable, reliable house drip. It's a... Uh, Simple, straightforward, but, but very pure and balanced. And uh, so that would be, those two would be my ties for number two. Number, I have number three as a tie now, uh, Kevin, because what happened is I went back to the uh, Amazon uh, Fresh coffee. Oh. And found okay. that it's a, it, uh, the coffees should should hold up as they cool, in my view. They should, yeah. uh, and it uh, it tastes a little rubbery. Okay, so really you're gonna t okay. Uh, Don Francisco. is a little sweeter and cleaner. I suppose that I'll give three to the Amazon Fresh and Don Francisco last, but it's pretty close now that they've uh, cooled off. And we're inventing a new system where we get like, if you can see it, I've kind of done a, uh, kind of a manic depressives version of this. <laughs> the, the best I could do, you know, I was a special child uh, in, uh, in being left-handed. So anyway, I, uh, so I is, definitely have. What's your order? <laughs> I, uh, all right, uh, I would probably, uh, very just slightly with you I, I i also would probably take this uh the uh the tabby as the as a bird rock tabby as number one i would probably put the big shoulders number two and then i would i would put this one number three this is the uh trays dragons uh and uh in my chicago accent i like this coffee a lot it might even be my favorite personally but I know a lot of people who would like the, the, the more mellow, this is just a, a, a blow away. I, I can tell you because I do buy this coffee fairly frequently. I just have to say, it's just a real crowd pleaser. I can always count on it. Of course, my prowess is someone who makes coffee, so um, which is my part in this uh, little enterprise. As far as the next one down, I would pick actually this one, uh, the Don Francisco, because I'm probably already imagining that a bean form, and if I could fresh grind it, I think it is available in bean form, but, uh, and then no, all these coffees are good, and then Amazon last, I don't know, maybe I'm, I'm mad because my Prime membership is up soon. These are all good coffees. Columbia is in good shape.